What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to the final episode right here of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so, yeah, in the last episode I may or may have not said that I was going to battle the Elite Four one more time. Turns out that they don't level up after you become champion. Yeah, does it. So, this is the final episode, and uh, what a better way to finish off this whole walkthrough right here than to battle the last two remaining trainers that, you know, we kind of have been chasing for quite some time. Both green and red. So here we are in Cerulean City, and, uh, well, first person you can actually find is green right there in Cerulean Cave. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to be buying quite a few items because, yeah, it's going to be a doozy of a battle. Now, I do have two different types of teams that can actually go up against these guys. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm just going to, well, holy crap. Wow, that's the, oh, wow. That's, really? That's the amount? Holy crud, okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and, co and accommodate my team to the best way I know how to beat both these trainers. Now, in Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu, Green has been introduced as the next trainer that took the first Pokemon from Professor Oak. Now, we have gotten word from uh, our good old buddy Trace that there has been somebody, a tough looking girl, you know, going around talking about a super ultra Pokemon right there. And then, afterwards, somebody, I believe it was probably Blue. Yes, it was probably Blue that told us about Green. Somewhere around the world. Oh, no, 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 I lie. It was Blaine, the Fire-type Gym Leader. So, the best, or the place to find Green is actually in the Cerulean Cave, because after you capture Mewtwo, she's going to be located over there, and she's just going to be pissed off at you because you captured this Pokemon before her. So, let's go right ahead and, uh, yeah, let's go, let's, let's go ahead and just finish off this whole walkthrough the best way we know ca how. So, first is first, we're just gonna actually, uh, gonna, wow, we don't have, oh, wow, okay, so, let's go ahead and use repels right here. Of course, we have enough, uh, escape ropes. If you guys may have remembered, uh, in the last episode, I mentioned that I spent about a good three to four hours actually training up my Pokemon. Uh, to battle the champion, or not the champion, but the, uh, what was it called? The, uh, Master Trainers. It was all in here where I was actually finding these Pokemon, uh, well, I was actually finding Chansey. Now, in this room right here alone, you can find a whole bunch of I items, and it, it varies. I actually got two, uh, both the, uh, well, both the fossils that I need for Pokemon. Both the, uh, fossils, you know, Kabuto and, and uh, an Omanite and all that stuff. You can actually find it right here. I think we're gonna find it again. And nope, we found an old Ammer. So we got all three sets of uh, all three sets of uh, what you might call it uh, of uh, of fossils right here. Wow, I can't even speak right now. I'm just like all over the place. But yeah, this place is very very good to actually find some stuff. Uh, when I first started training in here, guys, I actually got about roughly around 50 Ultra Balls all around this area. And it helped me a lot because it, I was capturing mostly chances and all that stuff. And yeah, they gave you a lot of experience points, especially for traded Pokemon. And yeah, you're going to be finding a whole bunch of golden raspberries right here too. So yeah, just uh, keep an eye out for that one right there. Now it's very easy to get to where Mewtwo's uh, located. Now before we do that, I'm actually going to have to... Let's see, hold on. Yeah, I'm going to have to actually uh, fix up my team. This time, for both trainers, I will be using uh, both, well, two sets of Pokemon. I'm just going to combine them. So, Pikachu, of course, is always going to be on my team. But for this occasion right here, we're going to actually put Thrasher right here. Let's see. Check Summary. And, yes, it has Sludge Bomb. So, we're going to actually put this guy in our party, and we're going to put Smasher away. And then, uh, let's go with Mew. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. She wants to look at the Pokemon. We're going to put this Pokemon in. Actually, hold on. Let's go ahead and move them. Mewtwo has earned a seat at the dinner table right here. And, well, these are my rare Pokemon. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's just put them right here. We're going to add them to the team. And, uh, let's see, who should he replace? Let's go ahead and switch him off with, uh, Godzilla right here. Hold on. Who had, who had, uh, let's see. 
Hold on, I gotta I gotta check something right here. Okay, so so blue had uh, Charmander. Green had uh, let's see. Green, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So green is probably gonna have Bulb Bulbasaur. Hold on. Trainer Green. Let's see. And there she is. I know I should have been prepared for this, but it is what it is, guys. So let's see. Wrong way. Uh, okay, Bulbas. Nope, wrong one. Here we go. And yeah, okay. So for this one, she does have herself. Let's see. She does have herself a Bulbasaur. We actually encounter her twice, and both her Pokemon gets or well, her Pokemon gets are the same. So she does have a Bulbasaur, or no? She does. Uh, she did switch out with uh with a uh, what you call it? A, a a you know a Blastoise. Wow, can't even speak, guys. So let's see. How do we counter this? Hmm. Well, we got a lot of Water type Pokemon. We got a Dragon type. We got Mewtwo in on the team. So yeah, let's just keep it like that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's keep it like that. It's uh, no biggie. Instead, you know what? Let's go ahead and use this. Uh, remove him from the party. Let's go ahead and put Godzilla in. And let's remove Dragonite. And let's go ahead and put in... Let's see. Who is a good uh, Pokemon to counter? I'm thinking strategically right now, guys. So let's see. This guy will take on Blastoise, Victory Bell, uh, Thrasher will be for Clefable, Mewtwo for Gengar. Somebody's gonna have to go in for uh, Kangaskhan right here. So who has a uh, who? Oh, look at that, Sand Slash. Yeah. Okay. So I think I got my team ready. Hold on. One, two, three, four. F okay. So let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and add one more Pokemon to the to the mix. Let's see, Hydra. Screw it. Let's go back to uh, Leonardo. Or no, you know what? I'm being indecisive right now, guys. I'm so sorry. All right, let's go with Hydra. All right, and let's go right ahead and switch out the Pokemon. Now, the only reason why I'm having Mewtwo on my team is just to show off the fact that hey, I caught, I caught Mewtwo. Just to rub it in her face just a little bit. Okay, so going down the shortcut right here. Of course, we still have a Repel on. And we're going to have to go to the original spot that we located Mewtwo, which isn't that far. Now, in Pokemon Fire Red, Leaf Green, Red, Blue, Yellow, Green, uh, they made it a maze. They made it difficult for us to just locate uh, Mewtwo. And uh, let's see, what else? The Pokemon here are a little bit stronger than... Uh, they're a little bit stronger in those versions than the, what they are right here. So that's kind of like another change that they made right here. And, uh, well, a good addition is that you will be able to find items every single day. Now, there is a rumor that you can actually find Master Balls within that location I was just at where I found uh, the Old Amber. So just keep an eye out for that. Now, remember, it's kind of like a shiny eye Pokemon. It is uh, very, very, very hard to find. So good luck with that. And Pikachu... Where, where are you? Okay, so he's pointing me towards something. Where? Yeah, I'm just rambling on. Okay, so right here, right here, here, right here. Oh, hold on. Okay, it's right here somewhere. It's right here somewhere. Good golly. Okay. All right, let's see. We're going to try this again. We're going to get this item first. It's somewhere around here. Okay, hold on. It's right here. And we found ourselves another Helix Fossil, which is great. So it looks like you can find a Master Ball around here somewhere. So let's go ahead and use the Secret Technique, Sea Skim, and here we are going back to where we found Mewtwo. Now, you go right here, and you're going to see somebody just waiting, and then you get to talk to her. Oh, damn. Ow. 
You were hit by a low flying Pokeball. Oh, whoops! You're not a Pokemon! Sorry, it's so dark in here, I saw you and thought that you were some kind of Pokemon. Hmm. Well, uh, nice to meet you. I'm green. So, hey, I'm just curious. Are you here because you're also looking for, you know, something special? Right, Mewtwo! Dread, so you knew about it all already, huh? What? You've already caught it? Hey, no fair. I was planning on catching it first. And, uh, well, here it is. We're going to go up against our good old buddy, our missing girlfriend, Green. And, uh, well, I am well prepared for this Pokemon trainer because she is coming out with her Clefable. Let's go with Thrasher right here. Let's do this. What's up? Now, her Pokemon are all in their level 60, so it wouldn't be that hard to actually beat since now my Pokemon are, or the majority of them are at level 80. And look at that. Sludge Bomb takes its hit. It gets poisoned. Yes, we are going to dominate you. Thankfully, you're not one of these master trainers right here. And look at that. You're getting poisoned by the second. So let's go right ahead and use a Sludge Bomb. Finish this guy off. Look at this. And just like that, Clefable turning into a fairy was kind of like the worst thing you could ever do. Probably, because Poison-type Pokemon kill will destroy you. And look at that, Thrash, or Spark is at level 89, so now she's going to be coming out with her knee or her nine tails. So let's go ahead and deflect that with our good old buddy, Hydra. I am uh, a little, I'm still a little upset of getting my ass kicked by uh, the Hydra trainer, or the Gyarados trainer and whatnot. So, here we go, Ninetales ready to go, and, well, we're going to be going straight for the Waterfall attack right here. Let's go. Waterfall physically hurts you, and this Ninetales going to be using a foul play right here, and look at that. It takes a lot of HP just because we hit it first, and, well, here goes another Waterfall for the win. Oh, yes. Ninetales has fainted. I am feeling happy about this right now. And we're getting some more points right here. So now she's about to come out with Kangaskhan. So let's go right ahead and switch out to our good old buddy Sandslash right here. And uh, see how this will work out for us. I don't even know. It hopefully will work out. I, Sandslash is the second, second strongest Pokemon that I have right here. So there we go. Sandslash versus Kangaskhan. And, uh, well, I do have some physical moves. I did uh, I did teach it Blizzard because of the fact that we were getting our butts kicked by the uh, Sandslash Trainer. And, wow, we're getting our butts kicked here. So, let's go right ahead and use Blizzard and Crap Basket on a good god. Oh, my god. Come on! Good gravy, Blizzard. You see, this is the reason why you'll never see me use Blizzard or any main attacks on my team and my Pokemon members. Look at that. Okay, I just gave her a goose egg right there. She beat our Sand Slash. That was probably the worst move that you could ever do. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to ruin your life right now. I'm going to show you the Pokemon that you failed to capture. Let's go with our good old buddy Mewtwo right here. <laughs> Looks so surprised. Let's go Psychic Attack right here. And here comes a Sucker Punch. And that is a super effective, so here we go. Psychic Attack. Nearly takes out this Kangaskhan because, of course, uh, Mewtwo, one of the strongest Pokemon you'll ever find. And here comes another Sucker Punch. Here comes another Psychic. Finish him! And there goes Kangaskhan. So this this Mewtwo here, it's not pretty bad. And Hydra grows to level 50, uh, 78. And she's about to send out Gengar, so we're just going to stay put right here. And just destroy this Gengar. Alrighty, let's go for Psychic. There we go, for Psychic. And there goes Gengar. One hit KO. Oh yes, oh yeah. So here she's coming out with her Victory Bell. So let's go right ahead and show her our good old buddy, Godzilla Godzilla. Oh yes, I am feeling it right there. I'm about to beat this girl. So there it is, a Godzilla. How we managed to win with you, I don't know. Oh yeah, we changed up your moves just a little bit. So 
Let's go ahead and use the Flare Blitz attack. Yeah, buddy, Flare Blitz. Look at that. Say goodbye to Victory Bell. Oh, yeah, she is not happy right now because we're just kicking her butt. And, well, here she's going to be coming out with her Blast Toys. Obviously, she does have a Mega Stone, so let's go with our level 89 Sparky right here. And, uh, well, look at this. Pikachu just looking fantastic right now. And here is Blastoise in all its glory. But guess what? I got myself a Thunder. Uh, a thunder. And, of course, she, she's going to be using her Mega Evolution Stone just to do this. Doesn't mean he's faster than us. But he does have Fake Out, so never mind. That is a one. That is a one of the moves that the Blastoise trainer uh, actually used on us. So here we go, Thunder for the win, and that takes care of that. Say goodbye to Green. Okay, alrighty. Look at that, and we defeated Trainer Green. And she's like, "Come on, what's with that?" And we get ourselves a lot of money for it. Wow, you're strong. Well, I guess that's that. Here, you can have these. And we get ourselves the Mewtwo Knight X and Y. Oh, I know. Why don't you become uh, one of my Poke... Uh, one of, or why don't you become one of my Pokemon together with Mewtwo? The hell are you talking about? Pokeball came flying at you. What the hell? What the hell are you doing, girl? <laughs> oh, she's doing it again. What the? Okay, she's she's really trying to hurt us. Eh, I'm, I'm, I'm like, okay, what are you doing? Okay, so I'm just like in a loop, and she leaves us four Pokeballs, or five, and she's like, think about it, okay? Is that an innuendo of you being my next girlfriend? I don't know. So, as you can see, she leaves us some items right here, some Pokeballs, and well. I, I guess we're just gonna pick up these pokeballs right here and uh, that is that I guess I don't know um, yeah whatever so that was that for green guys so we got one more trainer to go and it is going to be the toughest one we will ever face because the majority of his Pokemon are at level 85 and uh, well we are yeah we kind of slacked off a little just uh, just to get this to, to work so Yep, <sighs> this is going to be uh, this is going to be one for the ages too because uh, well, yeah, this this is definitely going to be one for the ages just because uh, we faced Pokemon Trainer Red uh, lots of times and never have we took on taken on his team when they're when his Pokemon are all at level eighty and stuff. So that right there is going to be a challenge all on its own so what I'm gonna do right now is well let's see hold on wrong one right here now trainer red you can actually find them in pretty much every other game too um, hold on just a sec I am looking at something right here guys you can find them on different teams and different uh, games and all that stuff I only battled them in the Johto series never have I battled them in the Alola series or or in the Unova series so and that's something else that I kind of want to just like you know get get over with. So what I'm looking at right now is a uh, Pokemon Trainer Red, and so far it is not giving me anything. Uh, okay, so hold on, just a sec, guys. There we go, and there we go. Okay, so. All his Pokemon are at level 85, so that is going to be the challenge of a lifetime. His final Pokemon is going to be Venusaur, so we are going to, yeah, we are going to be battling really, really hard. So, I guess it is time for us to actually choose out which Pokemon we're going to need for this uh, kind of battle. Obviously, we're not going to be using uh, Mewtwo for this because he's not part of the original team or part of the other team that we, we kind of went through and all this stuff. So, let's see. We are going to be uh, doing this right here. So, obviously, we're going to put Nidoqueen into this. We're going to be replacing uh, Nidoking since she's at level 80. 
And then, let's see. Definitely have a, we need a psychic type Pokemon. So, let's see. Check the summary. And this guy's, this guy's CP and everything is good. I kind of want to use Mew, but then again, I kind of want to use Al Alakazam right here because I kind of feel like it's a little stronger. It's just like a tid, just a little bit stronger than Mew in a, in a certain kind of way, like never, yeah, it's in a special kind of way, you know, special uh, move kind of way. So, hmm. So the only, po like, it could destroy two out of the, uh, the five, the six Pokemon right here. So, okay, I could be using Alakazam. So, Alakazam is probably going to be added to this team right here. So, let's go ahead and take out Mewtwo. I'm definitely going to be using Sandslash for... Huh. Who could we use Sandslash for? Or, we could uh, put Leonardo in. Replace Sandslash. And then Hydra has to be replaced to defeat Snorlax. We have to we have to come up with something huge. So Th you know what? This is where Sandslash comes in. Okay, so let's go ahead and replace this guy right here. And Sandslash. Okay, so it will not counter with anything. So I think we have the final team set now. I am going to be switching up some moves right here. We kind of need to teach uh, Sandslash a new move here because the, re the reason why I brought it out was because I thought it had a fighting type move, but it didn't. And as you can see, we, we kind of got we kind of screwed ourselves over. So let's take away Dig, and then we're going to be replacing uh, we're going to be replacing uh, what you call it uh, Blizzard for something else, something physical since it is a physical Pokemon. So let's see. Let's go back to Ice Punch. And, well, let's see. D destroy that. And, well. Let's see. We got that covered. And, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I know, guys, I'm, I should have done this off screen, but hey, you know, I kind of want to get you guys involved in all that stuff, so I might as well do it. Let's see, um, I don't really need to change anything for Leonardo. What water type moves did it, does it have? Completely forgot, I just battled the freaking uh, Blastoise champion here, so it has Hydro Pump. Special attack overtakes its uh, physical attack. Okay, we can leave it there. And then, let's see, we need to teach Earthquake to uh, Nidoqueen right here, because as much as I love Drill Run, it is not going to do the job against uh, against Arcanine or any of these Pokemon right here. So we just need to be we just need to be prepared for everything that comes with this whole thing right here. So get that going, and let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else needs to be changed? Venusaur. Versus Godzilla, Godzilla. I think I think my move will actually work perfect with this guy right here. And uh, well, I think we have him prepared. All we need to do now is just heal up our Pokemon and just go straight forward. So, well, <laughs> let's go right ahead and pet Pikachu for one last time right here. Now this is the last episode, guys. I was not planning on making this the last episode, but since. There really isn't a lot more that I can do, and I'm not going to be battling all these uh, all these master trainers. All I needed to do was just battle just six. I guess the I guess it would be appropriate for me to just go and battle uh, red, both green and red for the last time right here. So let's go right ahead and fly off to the Pokemon League, heal our Pokemon, and buy a few items just in case we need to, we need them because. If you guys haven't noticed, in the majority of this whole game here, too, we didn't really uh, use a whole bunch of items in Crud, and I thought, wow, I thought Red had left. Okay, so, let's see. Well, uh, first is first. We gotta heal our Pokemon. 
Now, originally I had planned to battle the Elite Four again, thinking that, you know what, they may or may have not, uh, you know, powered up or something like that, but it turns out that that's not the case, so what's going to happen now is it's just going to be red, and then that's it. Now, if I'm wrong, comment down below, guys. I will make another episode, and I will make another episode for you guys just in case I do kind of screw the pooch and say that, you know what, yeah, that was the last episode. So let's go with five more right here. And what else? We don't need any more lures since we're kind of, we're basically done here. <sighs> let's see. Yeah, we don't really need a lot more. So we're set. And our starter Pokemon is going to be Smasher right here. So this is it, guys. This is it. So I'm going to... I am going to save this game just in case we screw the pooch. 20 minutes later. Not going to lie, guys. I did screw the pooch. <laughs> nah. Okay, guys. So here we are. Fast forwarding to everything else right here. So here it is. The final battle against Red. And as you probably already know, he is the strongest Pokemon trainer out there. And, uh... Trust me, guys. I battled him quite a few times right here. He is uh, going to be a uh, he is going to be a load. So here he is looking at us, and he is reacting with our with his Pokeball. So let's go right ahead and finish off this Pokemon battle. This this walkthrough right here against Pokemon Trainer Red. So I'm not going to lie, guys. This is actually the uh, second time I'm battling this guy. He did beat me the first time and it did came down to the wire and it was because I may have uh, used the Mega Evolution a little too quickly thanks to his god dang Snorlax and it was all because I yeah it was all because I screwed the pooch with uh, sending out Sand Slash instead of uh, whatchamacallit uh, Sand Slash instead of Pikachu against Lapras so here we are going up against Pikachu, and yeah, Pikachu right here, level 85, just a tank. And here we go with another Earthquake. After it uses its Reflect, it's just, you know, it's going to be a little difficult to beat this Pokemon right here. It is faster than us, but look at this. It's going to try and use Iron Tail right here, and that right there takes a nice chunk out of our HP. But here we go. Earthquake for the win. Say goodbye to Pikachu. There we go. Okay, so he's about to come out with Machamp. Let's go with Ultra Psycho right here. And, uh... Holy crud, man. Holy crud. So here we go, going up against Machamp. A very, very strong physical Pokemon right here. Now, our biggest issue might be that, you know... Uh, if we get hit once, it's gonna be pretty uh, hard. So here we go. Psychic Attack. Hopefully this beats him. Nope, and here comes an Earthquake attack. And, yeah, that takes a nice chunk out of our HP. So what we're going to do right now is go for another Psychic. And one thing is that when you battle Red, guys, you will not be able to heal. So, yeah, me buying all those healing items was for nothing. Absolutely nothing. And this is the part where I kind of screwed up. So now we're going to go straight to Sparky right here because... This is the Pokemon for the job right here. Holy crud. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on Lapras. And its Reflect has already worn off, so now we can actually use a pretty good uh, move right here. Thunder. And, of course, Sparky has perfect stats right here, so it will hurt just a little bit more. As you can see, got him and here comes a mega horn from lapras and that right there takes a huge chunk out of my hp right here so we got to finish this guy off one more time god dang it and wow we <laughs> we survived holy crud okay so let's go come on let's go sparky what the fuck and oh wow so it survived. <laughs> okay. So that is the power of love right there because Pikachu just survived one hit with one HP. Holy crap. Okay. So he's about to come out with Arcanine right here. Let's go right ahead and... 
Huh, damn. Alright, let's go with Leonardo, Leonardo right here. We got... Two, we definitely have two moves that can actually beat this guy. Oh my god, this guy makes me nervous. This guy is making me work for the whole enchilada right here. Okay, so let's see. Hydro Pump. I'm not going to use that Mega Evolution right now because, yeah, I kind of need it for something else. And look at that. Hydro Pump does a good thing. Hopefully this guy does a uh, roar, and he does. Come on, Needle Queen. Come on. And it's Pikachu, but luckily for us, we do have one good move that can go up against this Arcanine right here. And we do have a Splishy Splash, so it'll still give some damage, even though Pikachu might faint. And look at that. Arcanine got his butt kicked and he is paralyzed okay and he can't move so Pikachu is battling with everything it's got all right Pikachu let's go splishy splash what the hell's going on here splishy splash and there we go oh my god Pikachu is battling with a freaking chip on its shoulder and here he's about to come out with Snorlax, so this is the moment I have been waiting for. We're going to be using Sand Slash right here, since it does have Brick Break and it does have a high enough uh, physical attack right here. So let's go. And thankfully, Snorlax doesn't have any kind of these moves that will actually defeat my Sand Slash. So let's go. Brick Break, come on. And it's a Protect Attack right here. And, uh, well, I thought that Brick Break would actually defeat him like that, so here we go again. Let's go with Brick Break. And look at that. Okay, and wow, this Sans... Wow, this... Yeah, this guy is not going to be defeated that quickly, so... Huh. We're really going to have to just chop him away, and this guy is going to keep on going with Protect, Protect, Protect until we, we beat him. Uh, one thing is for sure, guys, that... Um, yeah, he does have rest, so if you're about to beat this guy, don't, yeah, just don't, don't rest or don't sleep on his, uh, his rest attack right here. And as you can see, he's, uh, he's kind of having his way with us just a little bit with his body slam attack. And, god dang, this guy's a bulky Pokemon. Come on. Don't get paralyzed, man. Good thing that our Pokemon is a steel and ice type Pokemon, so we're just going to have our way with this guy hopefully beat this guy pretty quickly and here he comes with a body slam and that nearly beats us good god ah uh, snap come on man you know you love us get out of this paralysis and here we go with another brick break and more than likely uh, okay here we go more than likely this guy is going to come up with uh yeah he's going to put this pokemon to sleep in a little bit so Alright, we got some Pokemon right here that can actually do it. So let's go with Smasher. And hopefully, just hopefully, it can actually do something right here. Alright, Smasher. Let's get it. Let's go with a Super Power right here. Come on! And there we go! Yes! Okay! Alrighty! So, that is no issue because that was the Pokemon that we really had to defeat. And he's about to come out with Venusaur, so this is it, guys. Venusaur versus Godzilla, Godzilla. Alrighty. Something that we have been waiting for for quite some time, and we have to use Mega Evolutionary Stones for this one right here. So, let's go right ahead and... Uh, let's go with Mega Evolution X, because it's one of my favorites. Let's go with the Flare Blitz. We both get to Mega Evolve right here. And look at that. Mega Evolution, and here comes another Mega Evolution right here too. And there goes Venusaur. So who's going to attack first? Who knows? Flare Blitz. Come on. Finish this guy. And it nearly does it. Good gravy. Oh! And, oh, good gravy. Sludge Bomb makes us faint. Good Oh my god, okay. So it's up to one Pokemon. Let's go, Sparky! So, I'm standing on my feet right now. He's got one HP. He can do this. Floaty Fall, you know you're faster. Yes! Let's go, Pikachu! Beat him with the balloons! And that is how you do it! 
Suck it, Red. Suck it. And just like that, how poetic that my Pikachu finishes it off just like it started it. Look at that. Speechless. He's just speechless right there. Reed see or Red seems to be a little impressed. And we have earned the title of Battle Master. And from there, he disappears. He went on his own way. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm shaking this thing right here. Pikachu, you have been great, buddy. Yeah, you know what? You deserve yourself another... Oh, crud. Hold on. And another right here. And look at that. You know what? You deserve yourself this. Get yourself a golden one. There we go. Well, that does it, guys. That does it. Uh, wow. Holy crap. So, no, no more repellents. You know what? We're just going to take a victory lap and be on our way right here. Now that we know that we're not supposed to be battling the Elite Four, it's all over and done with. We defeated every trainer. So, um, let's go right ahead and start from the middle right here in Saffron City. And let me just speak about a few things now that, you know, it's finally done right here, guys. Now, I wish there was a cutscene and scene and all that stuff. That way we can actually just, you know, celebrate this whole victory and all that stuff. I uh, was planning on doing that with uh, Pokemon or with the Elite Four and all that stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> Anywho, guys. So, this is the end. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you very much for watching my walkthrough for being very, very supportive of this walkthrough when I came out with it, especially when, you know, you guys said that I was probably doing a little too much with, you know, too many walkthroughs and all that stuff, but we managed to get it done in 51 episodes, I think, and, wow, these guys are, like, not trying to let me go, and, and again, I'm very proud, very proud of the work that we have, uh, done, uh, what I'm going to do right now is, uh, you know what, hold on. We don't earn any money from this guy, so let's just go ahead and just take him out of the Pokeball right here. Okay, so we're going to be flying, and just, we're, we're just going to have to be careful for these Pokemon right here. So, yeah, like I was saying, guys, I'm, I'm a very, very happy for the way this whole walkthrough ended. I never actually thought that I would have, like, you know, I, I would have been doing a Pokemon game on a Nintendo Switch this early. But, you know, as I said many, many times, this, uh, this, this pandemic right here... This pandemic, yeah. It has really taken its toll on the whole world and all that stuff. And, you know, I would like to think that there, there are positives that came out of this whole pandemic. And that is that, you know, it gave me the time to actually come out with more Pokemon walkthroughs, such as this one, uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. And it was actually a very, very good thing, too, that I came out with this walkthrough. Because, you know, it's, it's, it's very simple. It's just like the originals, except now you're just going to be capturing and all that stuff. Um, so for what's next in uh, on the li the long list of Pokemon walkthroughs that I want to do, uh, if you guys haven't heard, Pokemon uh, the new Pokemon Snap walkthrough or the new Pokemon Snap uh, game will be coming pretty soon here. So as soon as that game comes out, I'm going to uh, I'm going to play it and I'm going to showcase it right here for you guys. Now there's something that I saw right here. Hold on. Aw, oh, well, shoot! Now, if you guys don't know who this is, you guys will soon when we come out with Pokemon Sun and Moon because, as you can see, I was so caught up with sketching in the ocean view and here, I guess, and I missed my ship. Where are you going to? Hmm. Well, I guess I'll stay for a while in that case. I really like the color of the sea of Kanto anyways. If you guys don't know who that is, uh, I completely forgot her name, but she is part of the Alola region, and uh, yeah, we will be seeing her very soon. And uh, well, there is a little something here that I kind of wanted to show you guys. Kind of like a troll for Nintendo and all that stuff. I know I'm getting off topic right here, but if you guys remember this place right here, you can actually go right here and find this truck. And if you guys don't remember the legendary truck glitch or the uh, the Mew thing where he's under the, uh, the the truck, don't know where that came from. 
do not know where that came from, but it was it, it, it was sure made like it was made legendary. I don't know how, but it just like I thought that Mew was in that in that truck too. If you use surf, that's why I'm purposely lost at the at the SSN just to try and find Mew and all that stuff. And lo and behold, it was just a rumor. It broke my heart because I really really wanted Mew on my game. But anywho, guys, uh, yeah. It has been a fun, fun, fun walkthrough right here, and, uh, well, I know that I said that I was going to complete the Pokédex. I will, on my off time. Uh, let's see, what kind of Pokémon do we got? We got all 151 out of 146, and some of the Pokémon that we need is Machamp, Weeping Bell, and Victory Bell that we already, uh, you know, that we already have. We can evolve our Coughing into Weezing. Evolve us, uh, you know, golding into uh, Seeking, and yeah, there's just two extra Pokemon that we need to get from Pokemon Go, but I'm not gonna go into it to cover it and all that stuff. I'm just gonna leave that for another time, guys, another time. But for right now, this is the final episode, and uh, again, I'm very happy, I'm proud, and I'm uh, and I'm uh, excited for what's next. And like I was saying, what is next for this whole walkthroughs here? Pokemon, the next Pokemon. Uh, Let's go, or the next, the new Pokemon Snap game is, is, uh, right there. Uh, if you guys don't remember, I am going to be coming out, or I have already came out with the Pokemon Snap redo, with the new background and all that stuff, and I will be finishing up my Pokemon Oras, X, and a whole bunch of other stuff here. Now, if you guys haven't caught the finale, or the finale of the main adventure of my Pokemon X walkthrough, I will be taking a nice break from uh, main adventures such as, you know, X and, uh, well, what else? X and, you know, just the main adventures going into Alola. Uh, I, I have already decided when the next, uh, when I'm going to come out with Pokemon Sun and Moon, and that is on the 10 year anniversary, the day of the 10 year anniversary of my channel, which is December 19th. So that is a few, yeah, that is a few days away. Not a few days, just that's the ways away from, you know, today, right now, which is October, shoot, 17th. And uh, the reason why I picked that day is because, hey, uh, this whole entire time, this whole entire time, I, I thought that I would never, ever get to do Pokemon Sun and Moon. And here I am, at the cusp about to do it. And what a better way than to start off a new walkthrough than on the on the very day that I started my whole adventure, my whole channel here, as Draven XE 711 And, you know, I'm thinking of doing 10 episodes, but... Knowing me, it might be just a little bit more because now that I have the uh, now that I have a capture card that can actually help me, uh, you know, make as many episodes as possible. So I'm gonna try and get uh, Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon done by the time New Year's rolls around. Probably won't happen. It's a long, it's a long, long episode, long uh, adventure, and all that stuff. But that is in the works. In the meantime, I'm going to be spending time recording episodes for Pokemon, Pokemon Heart Gold. And what else? I will be finishing up extra episodes uh, for Pokemon Oras. Um, Pokemon Oras, you know, the legendary Pokemon that you can actually capture there. Uh, the Looker Adventure for Pokemon X. And I believe there is one more. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can try and capture that legend, the legendary bird that you have to encounter 10 times. It's going to be hard, but, you know, I'm going to try and attempt it. I do have a Master Ball, haven't used it or anything like that, and, uh, well, hopefully, hopefully that will be the end of this whole uh, Pokemon X adventure right here, because there's not a lot of stuff that you can do in Pokemon X. Now, let's see what Professor Oak has to say. A Pokedex, Protoss, oh, I have nothing to say, you are now Pokemon Professor. Okay. So, yeah, and then, uh, here's another thing, too. About a year ago, I have, uh recorded the first episode of the legendary Pokemon uh, events the codes that I have yet to show you guys in uh, in any of my other games such as Pokemon Crystal Emerald and so on and so forth and all that stuff so 
Uh, that will be the first uh, episode to come out from the legendary side. I will leave the codes on the description and all that stuff. That is something that I want to get done before I get into Pokemon Sun and Moon. So the last part of October and the greater part of November will be filled with nothing but like legendary capturings and all that stuff too, guys. So it's a lot of stuff that we got to cover. And again, I am, uh, I am excited for what's next. My 10-year anniversary is two months away, literally two months away, and I, am, uh, I just can't wait. I really can't wait. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting this walkthrough right here. I promise you guys nothing but good will come from here on in. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe out there. Stay positive. I will be back for another Pokemon walkthrough. See you guys.